Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about uh, certain terms associated with the alternating waveform. In case of alternating waveform, we are interested in study of sinusoidal waveform. Mostly, we have either voltage waveform or current waveform and that is always a sinusoidal waveform. Sinusoidal waveform is time dependent. So on the x-axis we take either time or we take angular frequency and on the y-axis we take magnitude either voltage or current. And the waveform is known as a sinusoidal waveform. The magnitude of the waveform change as the sine of the angle. Mathematically, it can be indicated as E is equal to Em sine omega t, where Em indicates maximum value or maximum amplitude of the waveform. Cycle Value of EMF increases from zero, becomes the maximum and then decreases to zero. It starts with the zero, then it becomes maximum and then again it decreases to zero. It becomes maximum at pi by 2 and becomes zero at pi. Then it increases in opposite direction, becomes maximum and then again zero. In the opposite direction, it becomes maximum at the 3 pi by 2 and again it becomes 0 at 2 pi. So in the timeline from 0 to pi and 2 pi, it completes one alteration and this one complete alteration is known as a cycle. Time period. The time taken to complete the one cycle is known as the time period. Unit of time period is second. We have complete one cycle and the time taken to complete an entire cycle that is indicated with the capital T. Frequency The number of cycles completed in one second is known as a frequency. The unit of frequency that is a hertz. One hertz is equal to one cycle per second. Mathematically, frequency can be written as 1 divided by t, where t is time period. So frequency and time period both are inversely proportional to each other. So if time period decrease, frequency increase and vice versa. Instantaneous value the value of EMF or current at any time t is called instantaneous value. Suppose we have value at any point of time t1, then the value is known as the instantaneous value at the time t1. Suppose we have 
another value at time t2 then it is known as a instantaneous value at time t2 maximum value or maximum amplitude the maximum value of the alternating waveform is called the maximum value or amplitude we have maximum value at uh, pi by 2 and that is em m suffix we use for maximum same way on the opposite direction we have minus em maximum value and that is at the 3 pi by 2 phase in alternating quantity phase means the time required to reach the certain value mathematically we know that uh, waveform can be indicated as e is equal to em sin omega t now if we substitute different values of omega t then we will get different value Suppose we consider at point A as well as point B, then for A, the phase is pi by 2 and same way for B, it can be a pi. In phase, when we have two alternating quantities, it can be a voltage and current both the comparison of phase between two alternating quantities that can be either in phase or out of phase. When two alternating quantity becomes maximum or zero at the same time in same direction, then both the quantities are known to be in phase. Suppose we have one equation for emf that is e is equal to em sin omega t in same way for the current we can write an equation that is i is equal to im sin omega t and now let us plot uh, both the quantities with respect to time we have both the quantities starting from zero simultaneously and becoming maximum simultaneously and frequency of both the quantities are similar then we can say that both the quantities are in phase so current and voltage both the waveforms are known to be in phase because on the time axis both the quantities are becoming zero and maximum at the same time phase shift when any sinusoidal waveform is not zero at time t is equal to zero then it is known to be phase shifted. The quantity either shift towards the right side or towards the left side, then it creates a phase shift. Mathematically, it can be written as E is equal to Em sin omega t plus minus 5 where angle phi is known as a phase shift angle and plus minus plus sign indicates a leading phase shift and minus sign indicates lagging phase shift so in case of lagging phase shift the waveform shift towards the right and in case of leading phase shift the waveform shift towards left side Phi that is a phase angle 
for phase angle of shift. Plus sign indicates leading and minus sign indicates lagging phase shift. We have one sinusoidal waveform and that is shifted towards the right side on the time axis. So here we have zero level at time t is equal to zero and the quantity is becoming zero after certain phase shift. So this delay or this shift is known as a phase shift and that is indicated by an angle that is phi that can be in degree or that can be in time. Same way we have leading phase shift. So waveform has shifted towards the left side and the phase shift is indicated with an angle that is phi. So when quantity shift towards left on the time axis then it is known as a leading phase difference when we have comparison of two quantity it may be voltage as well as current then the relationship between two quantities can be identified with the phase difference so if any one quantity is phase shifted with respect to another quantity then we can say that it has a phase difference Angular phase shift between two sinusoidal waveform is known as a phase difference. Suppose we have two different quantities and the frequency of both the quantities are similar. But one of the quantity is phase shifted towards the right side. So it can be a lagging. One of the quantity that is a voltage and one of the quantity is a current. So current is a phase shifted towards the right side by an angle that is phi. So mathematically both the equations can be written as E is equal to Em sin omega t that is taken as a reference signal and with respect to reference signal we have written equation for current that is I is equal to Im sin omega t minus 5. So 5 is the angle of phase shift and minus sign indicates lagging. So phase difference is lagging between voltage and current or we can say that current is lagging by a certain angle of pi with respect to voltage. Same way if phase shift is towards the left side then we can say that current is leading the voltage and the leading phase shift can be indicated with an angle that is phi. Mathematically it can be written as E is equal to Em sin omega t that is taken as the reference with reference I is equal to Im sin omega t plus 5. So now we can say that current is leading the voltage. So one of the quantity is phase shifted with respect to another quantity on the time base and the angle of phase shift can be 5. So now we have three different terminology either both the quantities are in phase or if both the quantities are out of phase it can be lagging or it can be leading. Wavelength the length of the wave is known as a wavelength. Suppose we have one 
alternating waveform and if we measure the distance between two consecutive peak then it can be written as a lambda and lambda is known as the wavelength of the waveform mathematically lambda can be written as v that is the velocity in meters per second velocity of the waveform and divided by f that is frequency that is cycles per second so wavelength is inversely proportional to the frequency if frequency is higher the wavelength of the signal is less and the unit of wavelength lambda that is meter thank you very much for watching my video keep watching and if you like you can share you can like and you can subscribe my channel thank you very much